It's currently the summer holidays for me, so it's a good time to start a big project. Introducing the station project. But what this project is, is pretty obvious. As it says in the title, it's a station project, so I'll be doing a lot of work on Brockhamsdale Central train station. Off, you'll probably realise that uh, my railway station isn't really a proper railway station. It doesn't have a footbridge, it's missing a lot of things. Yeah, as I said before, no footbridge, no station building. And uh, all it was, was some platforms. So I thought that uh, I really should start here and really work on the train station. This project will probably be shown in a series of videos as little updates. And uh, yes, yeah, so basically little updates and I might tell you about how I did a few things. Uh, of course, it's not a tut I'm not doing a tutorial because a lot of stuff I probably will have already done. So, let's get started. Oh, let's start off with this visual effect. Look there, it's an illusion. <laughs> that shadow makes it look like, really makes it look like that thing is in the air. But let me show you something. It's touching the platform. Isn't that cl Sorry, I got distracted. So, um, yes, the first obvious thing that you see that I've done is work. Uh, put these lamps on the platforms. Now, this is uh, qu quite a, has quite a simple concept. Basically, wire up all the lamps in parallel, attach it to a battery, and then a switch. But when you actually come to doing it, it, ca it can seem a little bit more complicated than it actually is because you have a limited space under the platform so you have to think of how you can do this. I'm not going to give you a tutorial on this as I said before and it's not really a tutorial but if I flip this over I'll just show you a little bit of how I've done it. Of course it's a little bit messy I'm not an I'm not an electrician but uh, yes you see insulating tape at the joints I've noticed that you don't even have to solder with these, I use, I use um, this uh, some of I used some of my dad's spare wires. Now these are the sort of wires you'd use for connections to speakers. Uh, I also find they work pretty well and are quite easy to work with on model railway stuff because they're not too small and fiddly. So yes, yeah, you keep on going along here. I did the sort of pointing away joint because. Where you twist the wires together and points away and stuff, yeah. And of course, blue tacking the base as well. It's quite low tech, really. And then the wire goes through the baseboard. Now, let me show you under the baseboard. You have a series of wires here, some coming from the other platform. I deliberately didn't solder the uh, these wires because, well, what if I have to remove these and take them apart and move the these platforms? Say, what if I want to move the station over there, which is probably not going to be in my plans, but still, that's quite an important thing. Now, as you go up, let's lift off this signal box, and there you have a 6 volt uh, batter uh, battery made up of uh, 4, uh, four a AA cells and there's the wires coming through the baseboard again and then you have the wires going through this building and it leads to this switch now this is a pretty good quality switch it's a Maplin switch £1.70 pretty expensive but still it's the nearest electrical store I could find and the quickest way I could get a switch and get this project up and going nice and quickly so. now let's flick this switch with the flick of the switch the lights come on. Now that's pretty good. Now this is uh, basically the start of this station project and just goes to show that a few lights, a few platform lights can really add some character to the, add something to the platforms. Of course there are some holes where I've made mistakes. Those will be covered up with extra details. 
So yes, mistakes can lead on to even better uh, solutions that make it look things look even better than before. But what about this platform? Well, I'll get onto that right now. Firstly, let's start off with this little thing. Now that's that short line around there. That's supposed to be a preserved line. So I thought it would be nice to add in something a little old fashioned. So the old W. H. Smith and Son uh, uh, newspaper stalls. So I'll just put that there. And of course, facing away because this is the main line platform. This is the connection between this, the main line and the branch line. And also where trains terminate on the main line. Now, there's also this as well. Let's get on to this. So this is a Metcalf waiting shelter. Of course, it's made out of curd. And uh, you see there's these wires coming off it. And that's because I've already wired up some LEDs inside here. Now this is pretty... Uh, this adds a really nice effect to it. Just to start off with, if you look in there, you can see the details only just, but it is a lot harder to see uh, when there isn't any light in there for you to see the stuff. You see there's posters in there if you look carefully, though of course it's a lot harder to see them if you're off camera. But this camera is constantly zoomed in, so that makes everything more useful. Now, let's just turn on the LED. LEDs. There. You see a massive burst of light. And you see it's mu the, the posters in there are much clearer. And also, when it's dark, it leaves a lot more light outside. So that's uh, that means I don't have to use as many lamp posts. Now, these LEDs aren't expensive at all. I got 5 meters of these LEDs str in strips. For a very, very cheap price of £2.50. From somewhere in China. And £2.50 with free delivery. So, And they work as well, which is good. And so far, they've been pretty safe. So yes. For £2.50, not too bad. And I've got a lot more of these. Which will be used to light up many more things like this. Now there. That's pretty good. Of course, there's more to add to this platform, but all of that, along with this other lamppost, which will be coming on this platform, only one lamppost on this platform, all of that stuff will be coming in the next station project video. So until then, thanks for watching, and bye! <laughs>